Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at how to animate this still icon. So let's go ahead and have a look. All right, so we're going to start by bringing the Fusion Composition clip into the timeline and then taking it directly to the Fusion page. And here we're going to connect the background node to Media Out 1 and then just change the background to white uh, so that the icon is going to stand out a little bit more. Okay, so next we're going to bring in the icon and then connect it to the background node as a foreground. Now at this point, the first thing we're going to tackle is the animation of the ring on the outside. And to do that, we're going to start by bringing a polygon masking node and just create a mask around the ring itself. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but once it's done, let's just go ahead and connect it to media in one. And then uh, we're going to bring in a transform node. And now there's a lot you can do with the transform node, but one thing we could do here is to use the angle parameter and then turn this icon around. But you see that when we turn it, it's kind of wobbly. So what we're gonna do is to adjust the pivot uh, parameter so that the pivot point is going to sit closer towards the middle of the icon. So now if we go ahead and turn it, it's a lot more steady. Now to animate it, all we need to do is to keyframe it at the beginning of the clip. And then we're going to move to the 24th uh, frame here, which is about one second uh, in uh, this timeline. And then we're going to type in minus 720. So this is two full circles. So now if we go ahead and have a look at the icon, it's going to turn in full circle twice. Next, we're going to create the appearance effect and we're going to do that by bringing the mask paint node. So let's go ahead and bring that in. And the first thing we're gonna do here is to change the stroke type to polyline stroke. Now, what this will allow us to do is to pretty much create a path around the ring. So let's go ahead and do that. And once that is done, we're just going to connect the mask paint node to merge one. And now we're going to bring down the softness of the brush and then bring up the size. This way we can see uh, this entire ring. And then we're gonna play with the ride on parameter to create our appearance effect. Okay, so to animate it, we're going to keyframe it at uh, the 24th frame here, and then we're gonna go to the beginning of the clip, keyframe it again, but by bringing down the right on parameter, uh, all the way down so that we don't see the icon. Now, since our icon itself is already moving in full circles, we're going to do the same thing with our path, and we're going to do exactly what we did to the angle parameter in the transform node, to the angle parameter here in the uh, in the mask paint node here. So once that is done, you're gonna see that the icon itself is going to start to appear while it is turning, which is exactly what we're looking for. All right, so moving on to the second part of the animation, which is to bring out the check mark itself. We're gonna copy and paste media in one, which contains uh, the icon, and then connect it to merge one as a foreground here. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is to bring the mask paint node again. Now, once that is in, we're going to change the stroke type to polyline stroke, and then we're going to create a path on the check mark itself. So once that is done, let's connect the mask paint node to merge to, and then bring down the softness and then bring up the size so that we can see the entire check mark. And if we come to the right on parameter and start adjusting that, you're gonna see that this is how we're going to create the appearance effect. However, one thing I am noticing at this point is that when one part of the check mark transitions to the other, it's not looking that smooth. So I'm just going to adjust this uh, second point here. Uh, it's still not looking good. So I'm gonna come back and adjust the position of this second point. Once again, it's looking a little better, but uh, I'm gonna adjust the first point as well here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and have a look. It's, I think this version, I think it's looking a, a lot better now. So I'm gonna stick with this version. So once all the adjustments are done, now the appearance effect should look a lot smoother. So to animate it, we're going to keyframe it here at the 24th frame and then go to the beginning of the clip, keyframe it by bringing down the right on parameter. And now you guys can see that we pretty much have the animation completed at this point, but there are still a lot of things we can do. One of which is to go to the spline editor and to change the interpolation uh, for our parameters here. And we're going to select all the keyframes and then just hit the F key. This is going to change the speed of the movement from linear to smooth, which is going to uh, give more dimension to our animation. And we're gonna do the same for all the parameters we've adjusted that control the movement of the animation. 
And another thing you can do is to add some motion blur to the movements. And we can do that by go to merge one node, go to settings page, and then turn on motion blur. Now you guys are going to see that this ring as it starts to turn, there is that nice blur at the end of the ring. So uh, it looks really nice. You don't necessarily have to do this or change the interpolation, but they definitely bring more elements into this animation. So once all that is done, let's go ahead and uh, come back to the edit page and have a look at the final effect here, guys. So it looks really good. And uh, I definitely hope that you guys learned something from this tutorial. Yeah, so I hope it helps and uh, I will see you next time.